Hi guys, welcome to Stuff You Should Buy. This is Harry, and today we'll be looking at a lens. It's a Takina AT X 16 to 28 millimeter f 2.8 Pro FX. Now this is a wide angled lens, and I basically got it so that when doing product reviews on much larger products, I'll be able to able to get them all in there. I mean, basically, right now I'm using a 24 to 70 mil, and 24 is the widest that goes, as you can see here. So, and this is just a little box here of a lens. So imagine trying to unbox something as big as a TV or, you know, anything else larger than this. So, anyway, um, let's. This does some great photography as well. So let's unbox it and see what's inside. Now, I purchased this from Ted's Camera in the city, Melbourne, in Australia, and now they did a really good price. Um, they do range anywhere between $599 to $1,000. Uh, I was lucky enough to pick this up for around $699. They did a really good price there. Thanks, Sean. Um, anyway, let's have a look here. Now, this is just some paperwork in here that tells you all about it, but let's, let's get into the box itself and have a look at the lens. So there's nothing really there either. And here we go. And the lens is all wrapped up. There's nothing else in there. So we'll just move this out of the way and have a look in here. All right. So just taking it out. All right. Now it's quite a heavy lens. I'll be honest. Um, probably weighs about as much as my 24 to 70. And I'm not sure how well this is showing it. I'll just sort of get the zoom in going here. Now, being a 24 as well, I'm, I'm limited to how close I can bring bring this in. I mean, I could zoom in via the lens and we'll get a good look. Now, as you can see here, it says that it goes from 16 to 20. This is the cap that's on here. Basically, this is the part that goes in. Um, and now, this is for, for your focus. I'm going to be honest, this has got to be the hardest, most sort of really firm to rotate it's really really stiff it's i mean it turns but it's not very smooth and going you've really got to force it in maybe it'll loosen up with use over time um, but yeah that's very stiff and this is your uh focus that's pretty smooth there's no no major issue there um we'll have a look it's got the lens cover on there as you can see it says Takina. we'll pop that off and can have a look now look at that it's like bulging out fish eye look at that that's fantastic okay guys now uh this is just a quick edit and i'm going to put this in the video so the quality of the picture might change because i've adjusted some of the settings but just quickly to note that the uh, lens hood here does come off okay and it basically it's the only lens hood I think that or well, sorry the only lens that i think that comes in the box with the lens hood attached um but Basically, you attach it by putting it on, uh, aligning it with two buttons, putting it on and turning it right. Taking it off is basically turning it the other way around. So you, you, you've got anti-clockwise, which is this way, and clockwise this way to adjust. Now, the reason I'm not taking it off is I can't get the hood off. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. I mean, I've tried so hard other than... I can't get it off and I don't want to break it. So I'm taking it into the store anyway because there's some other things that we need to get sorted. But yeah, basically I can't get the hood off. So it goes on clockwise, <laughs> comes off anti-clockwise. So that's yeah, that's about it on that one. It's got auto focus and the way that works is you pretty much just sort of click it up or down. So I think at this point it's sort of sitting on manual focus and when you got it up there it's on autofocus for AF uh, what else can I tell you about this lens um, really good for doing I think uh, scenery photography now I will use it for some photography and playing around with it but the real truth is I got this like I said when doing product reviews now because it doesn't have image stabilization not the best lens regarding um, holding it and moving around without it being on a tripod because you'll get a bit of shaky video um, shooting uh, photos isn't too bad I mean you, you're pretty much all right but if you're doing scenery you're going to have it on a tripod generally but depending on what setting you've got it put on you're generally going to be okay even holding it and walking around taking photos um, there's not many lenses well really none that are wide angled that have got image stabilization 
except for one that's come out. I think it's by Canon, and that's uh, an f4 stop. This is a 2.8, meaning it lets in a lot of light, and it's really, really great. Um, so stay tuned. At the end of this video, I'm going to pop on uh, the lens and make a small recording so you can see what it looks like. If you have any questions, just post them at the bottom, and I'll get back to you uh, regarding the lens. Okay, let's just see how it looks. Okay, hi guys, and now we're back, and as you can see, I'm using the uh, Takina uh, 2.8, uh, 16 to 28 millimeter wide angle lens, and it's, look, I'll be honest, I'm quite shocked, I actually thought it would be a bit more wider, it's not as wide as I expected, um, but I do believe it is wider, it looks it, uh, but yeah, I just, I thought it would be, look, I do know that when I step back with it, it actually gets quite a large and wide angle shot. Um, but when it's zoomed in, uh, or, or the camera's really close, uh, it doesn't seem like it's all that far off from the 24 to 70. But um, nonetheless, uh, it, it, it does a great job further back. And I think what I might do is I might just step back a little bit and show you as well a wide angle photo just so that you can see. Maybe even throw a video in. So stay tuned. But before I do that, just want to let you know if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, sorry I did my best. Um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments and I'll get back to you as I always do. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'll be throwing up some more cool videos as time progresses. I'm Harry. Thanks for watching Stuff You Should Buy. And have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Okay, hi guys. Now, I've got it on uh, manual and I'm not connected. My headphones and the mic, as you could see when I was doing the recording earlier. Um, I'm just sort of, I've got this handheld at the moment. So, just want to see what it, sort of how, how it's working. Uh, handheld, I want to show you guys. And also, the other thing is, I wanted to sort of see... Uh, how wide it can be. Now I've only taken two steps back, like look, one, actually one step, it was sitting on this here when I was doing the review, okay, so literally picking it up and taking one step back and look at how wide it goes, it's just, it's crazy. Um, it, it's awesome as a wide angle lens. Um, now, the only other thing is, as for focusing, let's listen to the motor. It's pretty loud, so you probably want to do it on manual, and you can just do it by flicking it here, which I had shown you previously. Um, and you can go in and out. And you can get some really cool stuff with wide angle lenses. I mean, look at that. Now, I can hear this like squeaking sound when I'm doing this. That's not right. Uh, I think that might be an issue with the lens, which means I'll have to take it in and get it replaced. I've heard it can be a common issue with these lenses. It's sort of a hit and miss. Um, but as you can hear that. Not good enough, so I'll need to get that changed over. Hopefully in the next lens I get, uh, meaning the next same type of lens, won't have this squeak. Uh, but no, it's not acceptable. I won't, won't accept that. And neither should any of you guys if you get one out there. Takina, you need to pick your game up. That's not good enough. But other than that, the lens is awesome. Seriously, it is. Now this is just the other side of the room, okay? And look at that. I mean, I'm probably just a little bit halfway of the room at the moment. Just behind me is the desk. I'm leaning right up against it and it's getting literally from wall to wall. Um, this is really awesome wide and it's at its widest. If I bring it in, that's the closest it goes at 28. And it's back at 16. Now, the thing about this I've noticed is that the uh, f-stop, listen to this as I adjust that. Can you hear that? That's really noisy. Um... Something I can live with, if that's how it really is, but I cannot live with this. Because I'm going to be manually focusing and I just can't have that in my videos. But other than that, it is a great lens. Like I said, if you can avoid one with the squeakiness, which, you know, I mean, if you take it back and you say, look, make sure you give me one without it, get them to check it out before you take it home, it all should be fine. So that's it, the Takina uh, 16 to 28mm f 2.8 lens. Thanks for watching guys.